Hi everyone, I hope you are well and you all had a lovely weekend and you've all been making um, the little photo albums. So I just wanted to update you. I'm going to, um, the one that I made my mistake on, I'm going to hand stitch. I'm going to whip stitch around. I have to decide on the colour. I've punched holes, poked holes I should say, with my awl here. Um, I put my mat under there so I didn't go through and I've punched holes so that way it'll be easier to sew and I have to do the back as well so that's how I'm going to resolve that and I'll show you that when it's done I might do it tonight when we're watching TV now today um, I've never done these before but if you remember Sue from Paper Inspirations a while back had gifted me all of these um, ruffles some are fabric some are paper so I thought, um, I've seen it on uh, Pinterest as well, I might make a um, continual um, ruffle. That it'd just be rolled up, um, yeah, it'll just be rolled up and stored and you can use bits and pieces here and there. And um, it's just kind of continuing on from these. I made an ex another two. Um, after that video when I did these these are the other two I've just got them hanging up on my shelf and they look really pretty um, so yeah so I thought I might do a ruffle so that way um, it can go down the side of pages and things now this is going to be a little bit of a noisy video because um, I'm going to be sewing so um, you may want to turn your volume down. It might not be that long. Or maybe I should tell you first. So what I've done is I've prepared strips in three sizes. So there's this size, which is about the width of my ruler. Um, and then a slightly narrow one. And then these really narrow ones. So I have to decide um, what I'm going to do with them. So probably would have been more exciting if I had a different colour thread on the top, but I'll just go with my Ecru one. I can always decide to... I've now, I've never done these before, so you just have to bear with me. Um, I've turned my uh, stitch length down to... I'm doing zigzag, and I've turned it down to two and a half. I might make it smaller. I like the small zigzag. Oh, and, and also, as I always say, it helps to turn the machine on. There we go. So the machine is on. Now here and there, and I'm not going to do neat ruffles, I'm just going to make a big mess, is what I'm going to do. Why not? I'm just going to bunch it up like that. It's not going to be neat. And sometimes, when I'm really brave, just a minute, I'm losing bits here, I might um, slip on something else. So let's just have a look. For example, I might pull a bit of this out and trim it down. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Slightly narrower. Now that's not very long, but it doesn't matter. We'll just have a... Now I'm just going to put my needle down into my ruffle, lift my needle, and I'm just going to slide that under there is what's going to happen. Here we go. So let's, oh yeah, this is, it's working, it's working. Now obviously I'm, I'm, well you can, I mean you could probably do it with something thicker and I'd like a bit, I'd like it to continue on for a bit longer. So I'll just cut another piece. Hopefully you can see. I think you can. Um, I'm going to slip it under there. And capture both. And I could also then grab a piece of this and slip it under there and then ruffle up that as well. I'm going to grab another piece. What one am I using? I'm using a wider one it looks like. So I'll slip this under here and I might slip that under, actually no, I'll put it under there so you can't, you can hardly see the join. And continue on. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Oops, I forgot to I forgot to ruffle it. And I'm not even going down the center because you know me, the bodgy crafter. Okay, and this one can be we'll 
have a look in a second. And I might get some of that one going in my next fold. In my next messy fold. Because I like it to be messy. Oops, I'm attaching to my pieces. And we'll put this one under there. So I'm using... Um, you know, fairly similar widths. They're not all going to be exactly the same because I I do very random cutting. Now let's not forget to put our crease in, our fold I should say. And I'm not doing anything right, I'm really shoving it up there. And so it's a messy one. I, I want my ruffle to be messy. I don't want it to be all regular and neat. There's no method to my madness, none whatsoever. There we go, up you go. Now let's add another piece before you get too short. Put this one here. And I'm using, so I'm using some of my Florentine papers. This is a great stash buster, obviously. I'm not, and of course I did not invent this. You know, so many people have done it. Um, I'm just doing it my way, which we didn't know what way that was because I'd never done it before. Oh, and I'm thinking I might like a little bit of music paper on top of that one. So let's, I've see, that's why, have all your strips ready before you go, before you start, is what I recommend, because that way you can just grab things that inspire you. I've got lots of these. I'd like, that one's super pretty. I think I'll keep that one so you can see it, and this one can have a bit of music paper on top of it. So I'm putting, always remember, when I'm adding my big pieces, I'm slipping them under uh, the bottom. And when I'm adding, if I add, decide to add any lace or paper, I'm slipping it under the fold. The previous fold. And it seems to be a fairly quick job, this one. Uh, let's do this. This is some, I don't know where this came from. It's like a wallpaper. I think someone I got some. I think when I bought some papers, they wrapped the paper. The paper you know, they rolled the papers up and wrapped. It. Oh, that's terrible sound! It's squeaking. It's like there's a mouse in the house. Mouse in the house. Yeah, we've got silly Rachel today. I'm happy because I'm getting things done. You see, getting my video done in the morning that makes me happy. I'm going to slip that on there. A little bit of Florentine paper there. Okay, come on. Um, 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 um. Let's put this pretty paper. Oh, there's a birdie. I don't want to lose the birdie. But I will because I'll get a fold, so I don't think I need to can be precious about that. Okay, got some script here. And I want messy, 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 not neat. Don't be neat, be messy. You've got to remind yourself because you can you can get into the neat neat mode. See that was a little bit neat. Oh, what about some printed out coffee dade paper? And then of course let's put some more something here um of course you can um what was i going oh let's put some oh well no i can't put that because it's short it's not long i don't want to put that beautiful thing that goes back in the drawer uh, now what am i trying to say i was going to say something oh look i've got this strip i'm going to put that on there and just trim it down i don't want any sticking out bits like that let me just check i'm recording yes i am hopefully i'm on screen everything's all okay and everybody's happy. Okay, come on. Now let me grab another piece. It's a bit narrower, that one. Oh, don't I have those right wider? This will do. Oh, it's nice and long too. 
Now this piece of paper is just a recycled paper. As a colour it's a little bit more sort of boring. So we'll add a strip. What will we add a strip of? Well, what about this? We'll stop in a second and have a look at it and we'll take it out because, you know, you can always attach more. Slip that under there. It's a very quick process, I would say. Oh, look how quickly that all bunched up. And let's grab some more of this. I even like this, just the tissue paper on its own. A nice long piece here. Or I like it too with a bit of textile. You can get a nice, oh look, it's really bunchy. Oh, I know what I was going to say, you could add some sari silk too if you wanted to. Some sort of trim. And then we might add something here. What will we add? What do I have? I've got some script. What about some script with the... Oh, I like the script with the tissue paper. I'm going to do some more tissue paper. What about a different type of tissue paper? That one's got rips in it. That's no good. Oh, well, that one's no good, is it? Get rid of that one. Put this one in. I'm going to continue on with the script because I really like the look of that on the tissue paper. Now, I'll just actually there and I didn't even put that under a fold. I don't think it doesn't really matter. And that's a bodgy bit. So what I'll have to do there is um, oh I've got this yummy um, what's it called? Sewing paper. I think I'm going to put that on the top because my other bit was I don't think it really matters. Let's put it on top because my other bit was um, not was very uneven. I mean this could be a total mess. We will see. It's not neat at all. Not neat at all. Got lots of stuff. Oh, what about some book page? And if you're choosing book page, maybe choose a. Um, this was a, a bigger size sort of page, so you can get a bit out of it. I'm going to do another bit and then add something else to it. I'll just keep on keeping on for a second. Okay, I'm going to add some lace again. Not too wide. And then I haven't done any of the narrower ones yet. Oh, now it's going to... Oh, now let's add this. We haven't used this. This is nice. So I'm using up all my... A lot of my scraps. A lot of my scraps are being used here. Let's use some more scraps. And I find, like, the regular copy paper is easier to manage than the um, this paper. That one makes it, well that's, okay let's just end it off for a second and have a look what we've got. This could be quite a boring video for you guys, but look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness, this has to be one of my all-time favourite things ever. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it with the lace. Let's have a look. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. Look at this. So, look at the lace. And so then, you use little bits and pieces. So I'm going to make a bit more, if you can bear it. You can fast forward if you want to. Um, and and then maybe, I don't know, should I do something with it? There's the... So that ends up being a bit more fragile like that. I love it. Yes. 
and then that can be decorated more it can just go on as is okay so let's keep on I'm gonna just do some more because it's too much I'm having too much fun that's what it is and I'm just gonna slip that under there and stitch over again I'm not even gonna back stitch because like even though you're gonna cut it up Even though you're going to cut it up, um, uh, then you stitch it onto your page. Well, I stitch it onto my page, but or even gluing. Gluing will, um, if you put glue on it, glue will stop the, um, it will stop the, I need to, I need to create a fold. The glue will st um, stop the stitches coming out. That's what I want to say, if you capture the stitches. Maybe we'll have a bit of this. That's a nice long bit. Get a bit out of that one. It's very squeaky. I'm going to put some more lace. I'm going to do two lengths of lace now, if I can. It's a little bit more fiddly, this squeaky. Um, what's it called? Wallpaper. Um, grab that piece. It doesn't matter if they're not exactly all the same length, width, I want to say. It really doesn't matter, but in a matter of minutes, we've, we've made quite a lot of. And I think it's a great idea to make it in this con a continual length like this. Um, because, you know, you're not stopping and starting messing about with single pieces every five seconds. Okay. Um, some more. Let me add something else. What have I got in here? Let's see, I'd like a bit more. Um, that hemp is quite thick. This is not. This is not thick at all. Let's cut this one. A nice length of this one. Get that going. I'll slip it under the fold there and add it in. So you get all different kinds of looks. Okay, uh, what can we add? I'm going to add some of this and I might use one of these plain ones. So I'm getting I'm getting low on my thick ones, thicker ones, wider ones I should say. I'm gonna slip that under that nice fold there. And there you go. Then in my next video I'll, I'll use some of this stuff. How about that? That'll be a bit of fun. Put a bit of the, oh, isn't that pretty? So we'll just slip that one under there. No, over the top. Create a fold. Sometimes it just doesn't want to go. There you go. Um, and another wide piece. Is that one? It feels thick. And I'm not too concerned whether it's upside down or not really not a non-issue and let's do the Florentine pack oh that one's narrow too much quite quite obviously narrower so I'll put that one under there let's get you sliding up so 
so the, obviously the thicker your paper is, the harder it is to get your folds going. And I think I'm done with my wider bits. I can probably start moving into the narrower bits. Now this is double. And what have I got going? Let's just get that in there. Things are attaching to me, it's annoying me. And you're not, why aren't you sliding up? Let me grab this. Up you go. Okay, let's do some of this. I know this is frail, but I like it. I bunch it up quite a lot. It gives it some more extra substance, I think. Now what I would like to see on there is a little bit of something lacy. I'm going to trim some of this off. Something lacy I'd like to see on there. Can I get a nice long piece? Maybe. Well. I'm going to keep that piece. I like that piece for something else. But this is what I want. I don't know if you can see me. Okay, so I've cut that piece there. If it slips off the top, just move, slide it over. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be wonky anyway. Okay. Wow, this is super super duper put some of this one I think I'm just gonna move on and do my narrow one and I think I'll have another piece of hemp to get a little bit of texture going on in there. So I mission didn't like that, it's too thick. It'll get over it. Just get on with it, silly machine. I'm so mean to my machine, I really am. I should be nicer. One day it'll just refuse to work. like that bit. Okay. Let's do a bit of this and then I think we'll have a look. Check I've got thread on the second. That would not be fun if I ran out of thread. Here we go. I've got a bit of sari silk. What about a bit of sari silk in there? You might like that. I said I was going to end off, but I'm just going to put a little bit of sari silk in there and then I'll do that. Oh, it's tangled. really narrow just trying to see the book page will do and 
them what? Oh, a little bit of blue. Okay. lift this and get it out of there. There we go. And then I just want to do one more thing. I, I keep telling you porky pies and saying that I'm finishing but I'm not. It's just too much fun. I just don't want to stop. Um, now, I had somewhere, here we go, yes, this will be a nice one here. No, I wanted um, a narrow, I thought I'd cut some narrow pieces of, here we go, this is a narrow piece of um, stitch, what do you call it, um, pattern paper, stitching paper, pattern paper, and I just want to put that on top of there. Okay, now I am going to end it off and show you the result. And as you could see, I took it out before and you just continue on. If you just add another piece under and continue on. So let's have a look. So there's, oh, wrong way. I'm showing the back. Look at the with the sari silk. How cool. And this you can definitely roll up. Look at that. It's fabulous. And look how long it is. Oh, here we go. Here's where I started off again. So let's cut those threads or I'll forget. Okay. So there we have it. That's my video. Been wanting to do this for a while. Look how long I'm still going. Where's, that's the wrong side. That's the right side. And then maybe in the next... Um, I've got to make some ephemera for the next journals. So... Um, we will, this is one of my favourite bits here, use some of it. And now I'm going to roll it up very carefully. What will I roll it on to? I could roll it on to something. Um, maybe I'll just roll it up. Just looking to see. No, those ones aren't wide enough. Yes, I think I'll just roll it like this. In my hand. And it's, it's the thing about having it all attached is I think it's a good way to be able to store it. Look at that, how pretty is that? Just got to be careful rolling it. Because as you roll it twists. Probably boring with tears doing this. See how twisted that is? Just turn that around. Round you go. There we go. That's right. Now that's delicate there, so I'll just be careful rolling that. That's it. If I put you on the floor, it might be easier. Okay, well, you don't need to watch me roll it, um, wrap it, roll it, I don't know. Um, but um, in the next video, I'm going to use it, use some of it. Really, really fun. So thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.